all right y'all welcome back to the channel and to another turkey pattern test here and as you can probably hear i'm still out here stuffed up a little bit i apologize but we're getting over cold but we're still out here filming for y'all and i've got a pretty interesting thing to test out today that being some more of the winchester double x diamond grade shells these are 410 1100 feet per second three quarters ounce of seven and a half shot of lead now it says right on the back of the box here that the effective range is out to 30 yards with this load because it is a lead seven and a half load it will not carry the energy of a tss load plus being a lead shell in a 410 your pellet count is tremendously smaller than that of a 20 or a 12 gauge or even a 410 tss load so mechanically you will not be able to get those really really nice tss looking patterns out at those longer ranges with this lead shell and as for the setup we're going to be using today we've got the mossberg 500 410 turkey again but this time it's been a little while since we've pulled out this winchester full choke here yes this is a full choke not a turkey choke However, it is a 391 constriction choke. And there are plenty of turkey chokes for the 410 out there that are 390 constriction. So this is right in the wheelhouse of that 390 constriction, which has shown good results from other people's setups. Plus, in the time or two that we have tested this Winchester 391 full choke, it has done surprisingly well. Thrown pretty, pretty even patterns especially with the herder stuff that we tried way back on the channel. If you have not seen that video, I'll leave a card above here for it. But I've had several people request it, as well as I've been wondering about it myself. Will a lead load perform a little bit better through a little more open choke like a full choke like this? So today we've got the bench pulled up to 30 yards, which is exactly what the box says is the effective range. So that is what we're going to shoot it at. Plus, those are the results that we have seen out of it is that 30 yard is about the max you can get out of these shells. So the bench is over here at 30 yards today and we've got a target set up right over here. So let's scoot over there and put this 391 full choke in that Mossberg and see what these Winchester diamond grade lead shells can do. All right, we're back here set up at 30 yards on the bench this time. So let's run these Winchester double X diamond grade seven and a half lead shells through this Winchester 391 full choke and see what they can do down there on the paper. I really don't know what to expect. It could be about the same as what we've seen. It could be way worse or it could surprise us and be a lot better. I don't know. Let's just shoot them and see what they can do. All right, so this is what we got out of that combination with that 391 full choke and those Winchester double X diamond grade seven and a halves. Now, yes, this is absolutely a dead bird. He's got four in the brain and two in the spine right there. But as you can see, I think we've now taken a step backwards from the 385 Carlson's. It is definitely an open pattern. There's no question there. We've got flyers all the way down here and big gaps and voids all up through here around his head area so i definitely think we've taken a step backwards from the 385 choke i just don't quite think that 391 was enough constriction for what these like now yes i realize there is a limit to what a lead shell can do and i think we saw about the best it can do in that last video which i'll leave a card above here if you haven't seen it but i think that carlson's did about as good as what this shell can possibly perform but all in all it will take you a turkey out to 30 yards if you had to if you have an older 410 with a fixed full choke barrel and you wanted to use a lead load for whatever reason i think you're better off with tss loads for sure but go out and test it and see what these can do but it seems like these are going to make pretty decent like rabbit shells, essentially. Rabbit shells, squirrel shells, that kind of thing. They are a little bit more expensive than like a 25 pack of sixes or something like that or seven and a half. But you do get that harder lead, which will hit just a little bit harder down there on whatever you're trying to shoot at. But I think where these might shine is those smaller critters. And as for our wad here, this is what we got out of that. It's separated into two pieces here. 
as you can clearly see, this is definitely more of a target style wad. You can see right here where the base lines up with this other pedal off the wad here. There's no major tears or anything like that in it. Nothing that I'm concerned about. There's no shot crammed down in it or anything like that, but it definitely did come apart, which definitely could contribute to it being a little bit more open pattern on top of it being a lead shell in general. It's kind of interesting to see a little bit different style wad than what your typical TSS more higher end turkey loads use. Definitely something a little bit different on this one. All right, y'all. Well, what do you think? This is about what I expected to be honest with you. Nothing super impressive. And I do think we took a step backwards. I think that Carlson's 385 definitely helped these about as good as what we're gonna see out of them. But I've had a lot of people questioning these shells and saying they're not ethical for turkeys and stuff like that. Now, are they ideal or as good as a TSS load? No, they never will be. But lead has killed turkeys for a long time and there's been a ton of people that have taken their seven and a half dove skeet loads out in the woods and killed turkeys with them they will do the job but they require you to do your job as a hunter as well get within the ethical range and know your setup to be able to ethically take that turkey these are not an ideal shell but they do provide a definite challenge over what the 410 TSS loads can provide. So in short, know your setup, know your skills, know your distances, and be smart about what shots you take with these shells. Don't be the guy that pushes these to 40 and 50 yards and expect to knock a turkey down every time because it's not going to happen. So you have to do your job and your part to make them as ethical as possible for that turkey. But all in all, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Is this about what you expected to see? It's not an ideal pattern whatsoever, but it is what it is. The results speak for themselves. And on that note, I'm going to start wrapping up for the day. But what are some other things you want to see? I'm going to start throwing in some other stuff with rifles and different shotgun patterns, buckshot, things like that. But is there something specific that you would like to see? If there is, leave me a comment below and I'll see what I can do about maybe getting to test it out for you. But with that being said, thank you all for liking and subscribing and commenting. And I'll see you all in the next one.